I'm an old, angry, white guy. Hey, you vinyl community, and welcome YouTubers from everywhere. What's this all about? Well, I'm saying the vinyl community is boring. Show me. Tell me I'm wrong. What brought this on? Well, of course, I'm watching a few other videos. Didn't have anything to do specifically about this, but Grown Man Record Nights guy did a video as a reacting to a thread of Chris from Dixieland Farms, one of the first YouTubers, video community people I ever subscribed to many years ago. And uh, this was about what is, why is that in your collection? And he proceeded to tell and show how he got interested in music, how he got interested in records and collecting records. And it was really interesting. It got me going and I'd missed Chris's. So then I had to go over and check out his and see what that was all about. And all of this got me thinking, and then I've been kind of irritated here lately anyway, so I thought, why not just add a thread and a rant? So the thread was about, why is that in your collection? Yeah, and I don't want to hear about how that was the music that was popular when you were a kid in middle school, junior high, or high school, and that's what your friends listened to, and then you saw this group live, and you saw that group live. That's boring as hell. Yeah, I'm ready for it. So if you're waiting for the rant, you're going to have to see a few records first. <laughs> I love this record. Fabian, hold that tiger. Yeah, not that great music, but I was around back in the day. I knew about Fabian, how some guy in the music business with some money that didn't like the current popular music said, I can make anybody a star. And the guy he picked was a kid down the block who was Fabian. <laughs> yeah, so you got to have this just for the cover, if nothing else. Now, Fabian appeared in a movie, North to Alaska, with John Wayne and a couple other top-notch actors, and he was a pretty good actor. So that's why that's in my collection. Now I buy records just for the cover. Pretty good cover here. Lips Inc. Pucker up. Didn't know what this was. Didn't know who they were. But any record to come out in the late 70s that looks like this and you don't know what it is, you can bet it's disco music. So with that in mind, I saw another one of their records. Oh, now, now we've learned something. We're talking something new. What's the hit from this record? The first track on side A, Funky Town. If you haven't listened to Funky Town, bring it up and listen to it. It's not as boring as this stuff we're going to be talking about in a little bit. Hey, again, I was back there in the olden days. Many times nowadays in the vinyl community, you're going to hear somebody talk about Peter, Paul, and Mary. Well, this happens to be the ORG, remastered from the original tapes by Bernie Grunman and pressed at RTI. Yeah, people like talking about audiophile records. So what? So that's my thread there. Now, let's get on to a little bit of the rant. Here's just one of the Miles Davis kind of blue records I have. This is a MoFi box set. I got a couple other audio file versions. There's just no end to the audio file versions that come out on this. And so many people have talked about that last one. If I hear another person mention Miles Davis kind of blue, my head might just explode possible. Yeah, you know what's interesting? Controversy. Used to be in the vinyl community, we had a little bit of stuff that could be controversial. Everybody's afraid of controversy now. You might get canceled. Oh, we don't want that. One of the things going on, people have kind of got this system where their videos all look alike. And this rant came about. I watched a couple YouTuber vinyl community people last night I hadn't seen before. They each had over a thousand subscribers. I would say they were kind of audiophile guys. And they held up records and talked about them and compared this version to that version and so forth. And yeah, we appreciate all of that. That's valuable information. But, uh, so I checked, say they had 40 videos or more. I wanted to see a room tour. I wanted to see equipment. What are they listening on? 
What does your room look like? My room looks like a mess. But y'all can see where I'm sitting when I listen to these records. Now, I got three setups in the house, so it's not just this one. They're talking audiophile stuff, showing tons of records, and every thumbnail looked almost exactly like. I couldn't find a room tour or equipment tour. Well, we don't know what you're listening on. We don't know what your room's like. A lot of this audiophile stuff, probably only about one person in a hundred, has an equipment and ears good enough to tell any difference that amounts to anything and I can talk about this because I've got to the age where yeah I got a little bit of hearing loss but I still hear pretty good and so what's the boring thing that so much of us get that's part of my rant oh this is a good one this is the UHQR. I pre-ordered within an hour when this come out. This is the mono version. Two-digit serial number I got on this thing. So what's my rant here? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. How many times can we listen to this same old stuff talking about the same old records? Let's get some excitement back in the vinyl community. Let's get some interest. Let's get some enthusiasm. A lot of the people been around for a while just kind of faded away. Yeah, we have to watch some of those talking about this record and that record. We all want the best sounding record we can afford or whatever we're going to buy. So that in mind, last night I watched one of the best YouTube channels, Vinyl Community on this, 45 RPM audio file, our friend in Germany, and he was talking about the Marvin Gaye What's Going On and comparing the 50th anniversary edition, which just come out that I don't know, the one step, the UHQR, whatever, one of them ones that's probably all out of print and you can't get and you couldn't have afforded it anyway. Well, he's got good ears. He's got a hell of a setup of equipment and uh, a diverse interest in beauty music and he tells it like it is he buys the records he don't get them sent to him for review so here's the good news folks i was going to get out my really nice og copy of marvin gay what's going on and i can't find it it's in this mess somewhere or in the mess in that other room or the other room but he said that 40 dollar 50th anniversary record is more musical he prefers it. It's available. I ordered it last night. Now I don't need to find that other record because I got a better sounding one coming in the mail. Come on, guys. Let's get some excitement going. Let's get some controversy. Maybe even call out a few names. I say because they're bored. And if you get too bored, the spinning stops. Happy trails to you Until we meet again Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you'll just all bore me off of the trail and I'll have to go back to my cave.